Picture this for a second and just imagine. The sky is a radiant blue and the river is flowing. A gentle breeze is caressing, swaying the wildflowers side to side, the fresh air whisking the leaves away. This is the astounding beauty of our earth and it shows us what could be if we decide to take action in protecting our planet. Because this is what the earth should look like. But unfortunately, in more recent times, we've started to see more and more of this. Now, imagine being part of a project that takes us one step closer to that first picture. Today, I want to talk to you about my project that aims to raise awareness for, sustain for clean energy in a simple, yet effective and engaging means, a card game. As the population of the Earth surged from 2.3 to 8 billion in just the last 50 years, an increase of 192%, our demand for certain things like food, water, and housing grows. But something that is less discussed is our increasing demand for the energy that powers not only our homes, but our lives. As we continue to use more and more energy, a big problem looms in the distance. We are running out of non-renewable energy sources, such as coal, oil, and gas. And not only are we running out of them, but these sources of energy are actually harming our planet, destroying ecosystems and endangering wildlife. In fact, the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, estimates that if we don't fix this problem by 2030, that the effects of climate change will be irreversible. This is only seven years away, meaning that I'll be 21 years old by this deadline. If we fail to address this problem by this critical deadline, the IPCC warns that we will face increasingly severe and frequent super typhoons, floods, and wildfires. This problem is what has led the global movement the global movement of more environmentally friendly energy sources, such as hydro, solar, and wind power. Not only do these sources of energy last forever, but they can also help combat the ongoing fight against climate change. A common example of, renew of a renewable energy source are solar panels, which absorb light from the sun to create electricity. Or the most used renewable energy source in the world, and in Indonesia by far, accounting for 83% of all renewable energy, hydropower. Hydropower projects worldwide have made an incredible impact by offsetting nearly four billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions. To put this into perspective, that's the equivalent of, 12 followed, of four followed by 12 zeros, or four trillion kilograms. This incredible feat is comparable to taking approximately 800 million cars off the road every single year. But the advantages of hydropower extend beyond just reduced CO2 emissions. Hydropower reservoirs also serve as a clean and reliable source of drinking water, which benefits communities around the globe. So this leads me to my project, spreading awareness for these massive and complex global projects with something as little and simple as a card game to prepare the next generation to better combat the adverse effects of climate change and prevent further damage to our planet. At the start of my quest journey, I had just started at Green School like three days ago, and I felt completely lost. I had no idea what I'd gotten myself into. I wandered around like this for about two weeks until one night, when I was going downstairs to get a glass of water at 3 a.m., I had a eureka. I already knew I wanted to do something related to climate change and the environment, and raising awareness for it in a fun and engaging way, instead of giving dull lectures like I'm doing right now. <laughs> With this in mind, I decided to create a card deck that would teach the younger generation about clean and renewable energy sources. At first, I thought that this would be easy a piece of cake, but there are many unexpected challenges that I could have never foreseen. The first bit wasn't hard. I did my research and found a software that would let me easily design the cards. But this is where the easy part would end. I'd spent so much time thinking of the concept and designing my cards that I hadn't given a moment's thought onto how I would bring them into the real world. 
I remember, uh, at first I thought of using the tools already provided in the iHub to create them. But after giving it some thought, I, th I realized that this would not give me the result that I wanted. So I had to switch plans. I remember one day a few months ago, when we were watching a previous student's quest, that this student used a local print shop in Bali to do something similar to my project. So I started researching. <laughs> I didn't know where to look at first. But luckily, one of my friends found a local print shop in Bali that would be able to do exactly what I needed. But, unfortunately, when I went to go visit them, they told me that they would not be able to finish the cards by the deadline. This is when I started to panic. Because one day I woke up with two weeks left to finish my entire project. So, I started sending emails and messages to every other print shop in Bali that I could find, until one of them responded, saying that they could finish my cards one day before the deadline. So, while the cards were printing, I had a meeting with, the Ibu, with Ibu Putu from the green shop to discuss selling my cards there. Luckily, she said that I could. I also made a very last-minute decision to sell at Spirit Friday, where I was able to sell 10 packs of cards. <laughs> Amazing photo, I know. And finally, I also decided that on, uh, to promote my cards at the Woe Festival this Saturday. All the profits from all the cards that I sold are going to keepbalibeautiful.com to get us one, another step closer to that first picture at the start of my presentation. I feel that my project most closely relates to SDG 7, Affordable and Clean Energy, and 13, Climate Action, as my cards help spread awareness for the, for the clean energy that will help save our planet from the pollution and destruction we've caused. And also, like I mentioned before, by aiming to teach young children about clean energy, my project has a long-lasting impact on them, who will be engaged in the world's future sustainable sustainability and climate problems. So, in conclusion, with this project, I hope to inspire others to keep educating the young and to adopt these solutions into their own lives and communities. Education empowers all people, but especially motivates the young to take action Knowing the facts helps eliminate the fear of an issue which is frequently colored, down, colored by doom and gloom in the public arena, the United Nations. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to say thank you to the Quest teachers, Ibu Angie and Ibu Laura, for helping me through all the challenges I faced during my Quest journey. I would also like to thank Ibu Kate, for helping me with my speech and presentation, to Ibu Rahayu for helping me write my speech, to Ibu Putu from the Green Shop for letting me sell my cards there, and to the amazing people at Print Here Bali for making my project a reality. And finally, I would like to thank all my friends and family for always supporting me. Thank you. Yeah.